So, hello everybody. I hope you all had a good lunch. Uh, we are glad to be here. Thank you for that. And my name is Jakub Liboswar. I work at Red Hat. And my name is uh, Rodolfo Alonso, and I work at Intel. All right, so uh, what are we going to talk about? Uh, we'll go briefly through the security group overview and then explain two different implementations of uh, firewalls using the open vSwitch. And then we will present some tools that you might find handy when you're debugging the issues. So uh, is there anybody who doesn't know what security groups are in Neutron? Raise your hand. <laughs> Only yourself? OK, so I'm going to skip this slide. <laughs> I made a beautiful picture. I spent some time on it, so. <laughs> Come on. All right, so this is how the hybrid plugin works in Neutron. This picture shows two tap devices, and they are plugged into the OVS, but not really. Uh, they use some different mechanisms because we need to filter traffic that goes in and out from the instance. So at this picture, you can see that uh, the tap device is actually attached to Linux bridge. And from this Linux bridge, it goes through VAT pairs, and then they get into the OVS. So those who work with networks will probably be doing this right now. We want to get rid of that and achieve this situation. Sorry, it doesn't work. <laughs> OK, this is how it should, like, should look like. Um, attach the tap device directly to the OVS bridge. You can see that there is a little difference between those two images, right? So I'm going to hand my uh, hand uh, talk to Rodolfo now. He's going to tell you something about his implementation with OVS. Well, first of all, I'm, I want to, to talk about uh, just only a bit about the, the firewall, about what is a firewall, and the evolution of uh, the, the firewall in networking. Uh, the first one was the, the packet filtering. It's just a, a, a bunch of rules, just to, to a bunch of static rules, just to classify according of, uh, for example, the, the network address, uh, IP address, or a protocol and, and port. This is very similar, for example, uh, to our home uh, routers. Uh, but of course, this is the, the, the easiest way to, to, to make a, a, a firewall. Uh, then, you have for, uh, then you have the second evolution, the second stage of a firewall, which is an stateful uh, packet inspection. That means uh, not only you can match on, on, on those, uh, those uh, parameters like MAC address, IP address, or, or protocol, but also you will track the, the whole connection, the whole connection from the source uh, uh, to the destination. For example, for TCP, uh, you will have uh, your uh, as, as, uh, TCP is an connection protocol, uh, uh, you will have your uh, synchronized packets, your acknowledged packets, and uh, you, will, uh, you will be able to track the whole connection uh, during the life of this, this packet or this connection. And then, of course, you have uh, the, the, the most evolved uh, firewall, which, is, uh, uh, which are application firewalls. Uh, very related with deep, deep uh, packet expansion, uh, those packets go beyond the, third, the, the fourth layer in the OC model and uh, grab all the data inside the, 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 the packet and can analyze, for example, which application are you using, which uh, protocol are you using, but this is beyond uh, our firewall because we cannot manage this. This is more related, uh, for example, for SFC and using NFB uh, combined in, in OpenStack. This is above our, our firewall. Uh, what is inside a, a, a firewall? Well, I think most of you know uh, what, a, a firewall, uh, what a firewall does, for example. A firewall uh, needs to allow you uh, uh, ARP and uh, network discovery if you are using IPv6 uh, message. And uh, of course, also uh, a firewall ne uh, needs to give you the possibility to, to, to use uh, some servers like uh, services like DHCP, ICMP, or IEMP. 
Also, a firewall uh, must prevent against ARP spoofing by, for example, filtering MAC addresses. And, uh, of course, also DHCP snooping by allowing only, only trusted uh, DHCP servers to, 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 to serve these IP addresses in, inside the, the, the network. Uh, of course, as uh, Jakub will talk later, uh, a firewall can manage connections uh, using connection tracking. And the last part, but not the, the, the least, is uh, a firewall uh, must manage user rules. Let me talk to you about the first implementation uh, we made uh, for uh, this uh, firewall using OBS. Uh, first of all, uh, against uh, or um, the, the IP tables firewall, which is already implemented in, in Neutron, uh, those new firewalls uh, are using natively uh, open flows. So uh, all the packet inspection, sorry, packet inspection, all the uh, packet filtering is, is uh, being done inside uh, open B switch. Uh, the first one uh, use layer action, uh, which is uh, an open flow, uh, open flow, um, uh, sorry, command, uh, so, uh, an, uh, an action you can use in, in, in open flow. Uh, how can you, uh, how are we using LERT action to implement the, this firewall? It's very simple. Uh, when you, um, you create a, a rule inside a, a firewall, uh, you, need, uh, you are allowing, for example, some packets, some traffic going inside the firewall and then going inside, for example, a virtual machine. But of course, you need the traffic goes back to the, to the source of this, uh, of this traffic. How can we manage this not creating manually new rules just to allow the, 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 the traffic go back to the, to the source? Uh, very simple. Uh, using this LER action, what you are doing is reflecting all the traffic, for example, changing the destination MAC grid, sorry, excuse me, uh, when a, a packet matches this, this rule, uh, instantly, it creates a new, a new flow, a new, a new rule inside OpenB Suite, allowing the traffic going back to, to the source. And it's very simple. What uh, we are doing here is just changing the, 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 the source and the destination MAC, or changing, for example, the IP destination and, and source, or even the, the, the protocol. And this is very simple. The implementation of this, uh, the, 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 the implementation of this firewall using the tables inside uh, OpenB Switch is also very simple. It's, it's not very, it's not very difficult to explain. Uh, for example, if you have a, a, a packet uh, coming inside the, the, the integration bridge uh, in a stack system, in a, in a compute system, uh, you will match first, because uh, this is a match in, in OpenB Switch, uh, you will match the serial table, and then you will classify all this traffic. For example, if it is a, a, a packet, it's, it's a traffic going inside a virtual machine, this, uh, this packet will go to the input traffic table. And you will use your, your user rules to allow or to drop this, this packet. And the same happens when a, a packet goes from a virtual machine inside the, the OpenB switch. If you want to output this, uh, this packet to another virtual machine or to a, an external source outside the, the, the host, you will have your, your um, user rules inside these tables and you will allow or drop this, these packets. Uh, this is a, well, first of all, sorry for this graph. Why? Uh, we are going, uh, uh, what are we going to, to present also, because this is the, the name of the presentation, uh, we want to present as you the, the benchmark. The, the, the testing benchmark uh, workbench is uh, very simple. I'm going to explain this. Uh, we have a traffic generator connected to a 10 gigabit port and uh, this, uh, uh, the, the traffic uh, going into this, uh, this NIC interface is uh, going uh, through a patch port uh, to, a to the physical bridge. The physical bridge sends the, the, the packet inside the integration bridge, and the integration bridge sends the packet to the, to the virtual machine. Uh, then this virtual machine have a, uh, has a reflector, a traffic reflector, as simple as just sweeping the, the, the MAC address, the IP address, and the, the protocol, in this case, UDP, UDP port, and sending back again the, 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 the traffic to the, uh, sorry, the, the packets to the traffic generator. And this is the, the test we made. Uh, this is how we made the, the test. In this case, I, Sorry, I cannot explain how using uh, uh, the firewall uh, performs better than not using firewall. 
Uh, but we run out of time and because it's very time consuming and I cannot explain this. But you can see uh, uh, these three uh, uh, lines, these three curves are, are very, very close. So you don't have here a lot of impo uh, uh, performance uh, improvement. Now, we, we, uh, what we can see here, uh, this is an OBS DPDK user space uh, 2.4 implementation. And we can see here the first line, the, 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 the one in the top, uh, is the, um, sorry, traffic going inside the, 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 the virtual switch without any firewall. So we are reaching the, 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 top, uh, the, the, the top speed of the NIC interface, which is 10 gigabit. Uh, but comparing uh, OpenB switch 2.4 with IP tables to a, a DPDK version with LER ASIAN, we have around uh, f five times the, the performance improvement, which is, I think, a lot. And please let me introduce again to my, to my colleagues. Uh, he is going to, to present the implementation of the firewall using contract. Thanks. So as Rodolfo said, uh, this implementation uses a contract table for uh, getting the traffic back. That means this becomes a stateful firewall driver. Uh, at this image, you can see the instance A and instance B. Instance A will represent an egress traffic, which is traffic going out of the instance towards the switch. And instance B represents um, ingress traffic. So how does it work? Uh, the integration bridge that uh, those tab devices are attached to, it first goes to the base table. Well, it distinguishes between those two kind of traffics. So either it processes an egress pipeline or ingress pipeline. And in egress pipeline, uh, you can have, or there are actually two tables. The first one is called sorry, egress base, and uh, there you have spoofing protections and some uh, implemented uh, filters for not allowing running, for example, DHCP server on an instance. Also, when you get passed through this, egress base, you, there will, it will perform a CT lookup. That means it will look whether there is already a connection that exists on this hypervisor. And then it goes to the egress rules where the actual rules from security groups are implemented. And at this table, you already have the information from the contract table. So you can say that you allow a traffic that goes out for kind of traffic that was already established as an ingress traffic. Uh, there is one table that stands somewhere in the middle because you, when you get an egress traffic, you still can have an ingress traffic for the other instance. Uh, I will first describe the egress. That means when you get to that egress accepted table, and you see that your traffic goes out of your network, it will go out somewhere in your switch and let it be switched like a normal action. And in case when you have connection coming from the outside towards the instance, it goes again to the base table and then it sees that it's not an egress traffic for any instance that you already have attached to your bridge. So it goes directly to the ingress pipeline where similar actions as in the egress, what I described, are. That means in ingress, in ingress base, you won't have any contract information. So you can perform spoofing rule ARP, IP, MAC. And once you pass that, it will again do a lookup into contract and go to ingress rules where, again, actual security group rules are implemented. And they get either accepted or dropped. And once they get accepted, they do something called commit, which basically takes this kind of connection and puts it into the contract table. 
so it can be later used. And there is a special uh, case where you don't have any connection to or from the outside, and it goes directly from one instance to the other instance, so it won't get outside. It's on the same network, so it goes from instance A through the whole pipeline to the instance B using the single contract table. Um, maybe you can ask how do we segregate those uh, connections that have the same IP addresses or ports. So there, is, there are zones in contract table that are used. And in this implementation, we basically use one zone per network. So I will show the example how the rules actually look like when you have some security group rule uh, created for your pipeline. This example shows ICMP egress traffic that's supposed to be allowed coming out of the instance and nothing else. So you can see that actually two flows are in open flow table per one security group rule. And those highlighted red uh, things that you can see there means the state of your connection, which means for new or established connections, we actually go to some other table, which is also highlighted. This is the table number 73, and it's that middle accept egress table, where similar rules are there later. And this is because of mechanism that's implemented there for dropping connections that are not yet or not yeah yet in the security group in your security group that means once you remove those two highlighted uh, rules it will actually get you drop your connection that you don't want and in in this accepted you can see that new connections from contract are committed, as I said before. It's the second line. And all other established connections don't do the commit to avoid unnecessary load. Um, now you can see the comparison between IP tables, firewall driver, and OVS firewall driver. This benchmark is a little bit uh, like not how it's supposed to be done because the IP tables is actually done on OVS 2.4. So I think OVS 2.5 will perform better. So the performance increase that you can see on this graph probably won't be that high, but surely it will be better than the IP tables. So I'm going to say thank you. More. Because uh, the first thing uh, you are going to do, uh, I'm pretty sure about this, is uh, once we finish this, this presentation is download the code and test this. Uh, we are going to, to give you some, some tips about how to use OpenBSwitch and how to debug it. Uh, we, we, no, we, no, sorry, we are uh, pretty sure that uh, uh, OpenBSwitch is a very good backend for networking in, in OpenStack, but uh, also you can, uh, you can read in the last uh, OpenStack survey uh, dated in August uh, last year, uh, up to 62% of, uh, of deployments uh, using more than 1,000 nodes are using now open open switch this is the the, the most uh, commonly used uh, backend for for uh, networking uh, using neutron so i think making this kind of uh, the, the features uh, to be used in, in open switch is a, is, a good, is a good option also uh, open switch performs very well uh, the the release cadence is is very high is very high and the, the, the support, the community support is, is astonishing. I can assure you that working with OpenBSwitch is more, uh, more is easier than, than using other, other kind of uh, backends in, in Newton. Uh, let me show you some, some small, let me check first of all the time. We are, we are on time. Uh, 
let me show you some uh, small uh, commands uh, to, to debug or to use OpenV switch. For example, the, the first one, uh, once you create or you stack a, a system in, in, a, in a host, in a, for example, in a compute node, uh, what do you want to, to, to see? Is the, 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 the network inside the, this host? So, for example, you have the, this open uh, OBS, BSCTL, so that will show you uh, the bridge uh, already created inside the, 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 sorry, the open B switch, and inside the, the bridge, the ports uh, which are connected to, to the switch. You can, you can create several bridges inside the, 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 sorry, the OpenB switch and uh, connect those uh, switches between, between them and also connect, for example, virtual machines or uh, physical NICs uh, to these uh, 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 bridges. Of course, if you want manually to create a, a bridge or to delete a bridge or to, for example, to list ports, you have a lot of options. We, we are not going to show all of them, <clears throat> but you can manually add a, add a bridge. It's that simple. Add bridge and that's all, using OBS uh, BCT, uh, BSCTL. To delete a, a bridge is that simple. Delete uh, del uh, slash uh, br and then the name of the, the bridge. And if you want to see the, the ports inside a bridge, you can you can use just use list ports and that's all. If you want to, to go a, a bit further and, and, and see what is happening inside, for example, uh, the, inside a, a bridge, you can dump the flows uh, which are currently been, uh, going through the, 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 the bridge. And you will see, for example, this. You will see uh, the, for each flow, you will see the cookie, the duration, the, 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 the time of this, uh, the, 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 the lifetime of, of this flow. You will see the table uh, which is matching the, this flow now, the number of packets. Uh, you will have a lot of information. It's, it's, it's very handy to use this, uh, this command. But also, you can, you can go a step forward because if you want, for example, uh, to, to see the, the data plane flows, that means the, all the flows uh, crossing the, the open B switch, uh, crossing all the, all the bridges, you can use this OBS app CTL uh, command that will show you uh, from the very first of the, the, the sorry, the, 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 the first part of the, the, the traffic to the end of the, the, the traffic of, of, a, of a flow, uh, how it's, uh, uh, what it's, uh, what is really doing. For example, the first one. The first one, uh, uh, you can see the, the, the first part is the import is coming into the, the OpenV switch uh, through the, the, the port number seven. You can see, for example, which is the connection uh, track state and uh, other parameters like, for example, the MAC address, the IP address, which VLAN uh, tag uh, does it have, and also which are the actions uh, uh, being applied to this flow in, in the switch because uh, you have several, you, you can, uh, this flow can match several rules. So you will see which actions are being applied to this flow in this moment. And uh, well, this is very handy if you want to, to debug. Instead of, uh, instead of uh, using, uh, uh, instead of dumping the, the flows or looking at the data plane of the OpenV switch, uh, what you can do is almost like simulate what uh, an, an, a flow uh, will be managed inside the, the OpenV switch with, without injecting any traffic inside the, 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 the switch because it will simulate the, the different uh, flows, the, sorry, the different um, um, uh, tables uh, and, and, and actions a packet will have the according only with the specification. For example, uh, you can simulate uh, injecting one packet in the import one and with the VLAN tag uh, 1404. And, and you can see uh, all the bridges and all the flows uh, that uh, this flow will match. It's, it's very nice. And if you are debugging uh, using Open, open switch, you will use this a lot of times. And of course, how to enable uh, those, fire, those uh, firewalls in, in Newton. Uh, using OpenB switch in, in Newton, as uh, we, we said, 
is very simple. It's fully supported, and uh, to to uh, apply the or to, to use uh, those firewall is just a matter of modifying one uh, one config line in one config file, and you will have uh, once you restart, of course, the the agent managing this, you will have the the firewall uh, up and running. Uh, the second, the, the first one, the, the, the connection tracking firewall is already merged in, in Neutron code. So uh, if you download the, the, you clone the, the Neutron repository, you will have it. Uh, for the second one, the OBS Learn Action firewall driver, you need to install a networking OBS DPDK. And then you will, uh, you will also need to, to modify the, the, the ML2 config file uh, for, the network, uh, for the Neutron agent. So I'm going to say a few words about the future work that we plan. So first of all, we would like to test uh, connection tracking in user space with DPDK so we can have that nice performance that Rodolfo showed you with uh, learn actions with DPDK. Um, we also need to come up with a plan how to migrate existing deployments that use IP tables, firewall driver to the OVS. One of the things that could improve performance of OVS firewall driver would be implementing uh, conjunctions. That means when you have any remote security groups, you can basically put them all together and have one flow or set of flows for all those addresses that you would like to get your connection to. Um, currently, what, uh, what Firewall Driver does when you update a port, it basically flushes down all the rules that are on, in the open vSwitch and adds the new ones, which makes a little uh, time there where it actually runs without any flows. So we can implement bundles and perform this operation of update, like flush and add, as one atomic transaction. That means we will not get any time without any flows. Uh, currently, we have only a few tests for firewall uh, which we call functional tests that do the tests in isolation of the firewall. So what we want to do is to implement better test coverage by using full stack, which basically will test all integration with Open vSwitch agent. And we saw bugs there just because we don't have this coverage. And also my favorite, uh, we will introduce new bugs with all this stuff that we want to do so we can fix them and keep us busy. I will, I will. I will introduce that one. <clears throat> all right, so uh, this is the end of the presentation, and now it's time to ask questions. <laughs> so, no questions. Thank you very much. Really? No questions? At all? Questions. No worries. Questions. Cool. Um, I went to an earlier presentation that presented a blueprint for uh, logging accepts and drops in security groups, which is something that we've been looking for for a while. How would you support that kind of a blueprint? Well, I didn't see this, uh, this blueprint, so sorry, I cannot answer, uh, at least me, I cannot answer this. Uh, uh, well. It, it, it depends where the logging is performed, whether it's somewhere in, yes. the, in the agent or if it's in the firewall itself. Well, it, I imagine it was going to be in the ex, in IP tables because that's the only place that would know about the accepts and the drops. Yes, but uh, those firewalls are running uh, inside the neutron agent, so th th there is a process already running this, uh, this firewall. So if there is any kind of logging, this would be applied on the, the agent. Th this is, th this uh, is not a, a separate, uh, a parallel process. It's running inside a, an existing process and fully supported uh, process in, in neutron. So if you increase or you modify the login uh, in, in, for example, in this process, you will have, you, you, you will have this, uh, this new alerts or these new uh, logs in, in this one. But uh, first of all, I need to read this blueprint. Yeah. 
maybe we can put it on the list of future work. Thank you. So, I had a question on some of your uh, benchmarks. Uh, did you, uh, it wasn't clear if you were tracking bandwidth or just uh, connections per second. Oh, sorry, it, uh, yes, maybe I didn't explain this. Uh, can we go back, just to, uh, it was mega, uh, megabyte, uh, sorry, megabits yeah. per second. So what so, was yes. a thousand users mean? Uh, yes, I didn't explain that. Uh, sorry, thanks. Thanks for the question. Um, um, uh, we created one, only one uh, manual rule in the, in the B-Switch. And to test, uh, sorry, to, to, to test how it performs with several users, for example, uh, we, we made a test with only one connection, then we made with uh, uh, 10 connections, 100, uh, 1,000. Uh, the, the, the method we, we used for that was uh, incremented for, uh, the, the source port the UDP source port. So that was uh, the, the way we created uh, new users or new connections uh, uh, against the, 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 the firewall. For example, with contract, it's, it's very simple to, to track that. With layer actions, every time you have a new user, you will create a, a new, new connection, in this case, a new user. You will create a new rule. So that's uh, a bit of overhead if you have a lot of user or, sorry, a lot of connections in a, in a firewall. I don't know if that explains. Yes. So th th that was what I was trying to get at. Like, so it looks like uh, the tests weren't like around connections per second. It's not like the setup rate. It's, it looks a little bit. No, a, a fixed number of connections. Yeah. Uh, we, we didn't have time enough okay. to, to put all the benchmarks, but we decided to put the, the 1,000 uh, 1, okay. uh, benchmarks, and, and that's all, and it's uh, megabits, uh, so instead of the, the large bit. Is the y-axis mega, megabytes? No, sorry, the, this is a mistake. Now, now you can see this is not megabytes, it's megabits. Okay. And the, the, the x-axis is bytes per, per packet, because okay. we tried several, several oh, okay, sizes of... of Thank you. All right. Uh, if you would be interested in more uh, information, oh, okay. <laughs> so there were links. <laughs> How do I turn yes. it on? <laughs> well, yeah. So there are links to more information. All right, so thank you very much thank for you your very attention. Much. Thank you very much.